Hi my friends, it's Miss Kate from School 1057 in San Marcos, California, and today we are going to be doing a super fun art project with some dot paints, a game die, and a piece of paper. Now, this isn't just any art project because we are going to be doing some math with this art project by using our game die. When I roll this die, it'll tell me a number. That is the number of dots we are going to put on our page. That means that we don't get to choose the number of dots we put on our page, but we do get to choose the colors that we use and where on our page we put it, and that is how we get creative. So I'm going to roll, and I got the number one. So I know I have to put one dot on my page, but I still get to choose my color, so I'm going to choose the color pink, and I'm going to put that dot anywhere on my page that I want. So I did one dot, and then I'm going to put my color back and roll again. Okay, and this time I got the number two. So I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to choose the color green. And I'm going to put two green dots anywhere I want on my page. Okay, let's roll again. Oh, what number is this? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the number six, so I'm going to choose a color, and I'm going to choose the color blue. I'm going to put six blue dots anywhere I want on my page. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna put that back, and I'm going to roll again. Now I got the number six again. So I'm going to take a color, I'm going to choose the color orange, and I'm going to put six dots on my page. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see. I'm going to roll a couple more times. So this time I rolled the number one, two, three, four. So I'm going to choose a color, I'm going to choose the color red, and I'm going to put four dots anywhere I want on my page. Let's do it here. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's only one color that I haven't used. Can you spot what color I haven't used yet? I haven't used the color yellow yet, so I'm going to roll one more time just so that I can use all of my colors. And I got the number three. So I'm going to take my yellow dot paint and I'm going to put three yellow dots on my page. Okay, so I'm going to stop for now because I want to show you some of the pictures that I've drawn. Now, remember, I wasn't able to choose the number of dots to put on my page because when I rolled my die, the die told me the number of dots to put on my page, but I did get to choose my colors and where to put them on my page, and so let's see what kinds of pictures I decided to make. Okay, let's start over here. I tried to make a shape over here. Can anyone tell what shape I was trying to make with the color red? Hmm, why don't we count the number of dots? One, two, three, four. There are four dots. Do you know any shape that has four corners? Well, a rectangle has four corners, but does this look like a rectangle? No, this looks like a square because I put an equal amount of space between each dot to make it look like a square. Now, do you see any other shapes that I tried to draw using my dot paints? If we look at the color yellow, I tried to make another shape. Can you tell what shape I was trying to make? I was trying to make a triangle. I put three yellow dots as the three corners of the triangle. Hmm, are there any other pictures I tried to make? Well, over here, I tried to make a picture. Can you tell what this is? This is supposed to be a smiley face. So when I rolled two green, I put two green eyes. I made the green color my eyes. And then when I rolled a number one, I chose the color pink and I just made a pink nose. So then there's one part left. When I rolled the number six, I knew that was a really big number. So I thought I could make that my smile and I made a blue smile. And so I made a smiley face. And then up top, I just used orange dots to try to make a zigzag line. And this was my way of getting super, super creative, but we can still do some math. So I'm going to choose a color and I want us to count all of that color. 
So let's choose the color orange. How many orange dots are on my page? One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six orange dots. Now, how many red dots are on my page? One, two, three, four. What if I want to add my orange dots and my red dots together? Can we do that? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I add my six orange dots and my four red dots, I get ten dots total. Should we count all of the dots on my page? Let's try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I have twenty-two dots on my page. So my friends, there are lots and lots of ways to use math while we are doing this art project. Now first, we had to do some math when we rolled our die because we had to count the number of dots that we rolled, right? But we also can do some addition, like we just did six plus four on our page. We can also count um, every color. So if I want to know how many yellow dots there are, I can count all of the yellow dots on my paper. There are lots and lots of ways to do math on this page. We can even do some subtraction. So there are lots of ways you can get creative at home and challenge yourself to do more math. But this activity also lets you get really creative because I was able to draw all sorts of pictures. I drew a smiley face, I made a square, I made a triangle, and I made a zigzag. What kinds of pictures would you have drawn on your page? Now my friends, I hope that you're able to do this activity at home and do a little bit of math and a little bit of art at the same time. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.